Hey, what's everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a really clean background in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is something you can create really quickly. You can see we have this nice, clean, textured background and we can add something like, you know, uh, some sort of symbol into the middle of it. And this is just artifacting by when it plays, it's trying to condense it so that it can play cleaner, but it will look like this. It sort of has like almost a Nintendo feel to it. So let's get started on this. It's a really, really simple tutorial and it is a fun one. So first things first, we're gonna go into our, over here, into the project. And then we're gonna go down and we're gonna click the new and we're gonna create a new black video. Click okay on that and drag this black video in. And of course, it's gonna start off as a video that is black. We're then gonna look for the ramp effect. We're gonna drag that onto the black video. We're going to change this effect, so make sure in effect controls, I am running in the graphics workspace right now. We're gonna change this to radial ramp, and we're gonna take the ramp center, and we're going to just drag it down to the center. I am using the shift key to make sure that it's perfectly centered and right there looks good. We're now going to create the start color and we want something in the green category or the purple. It doesn't really matter. Blue, any of these colors work. Let's change it up a little bit and make this one green. We will create first a lighter green and then a darker green. So what we can do is we can actually just start with the exact same color green by clicking on this eyedropper and bringing it up to our start color. And then we just want to make this one slightly darker. And we can work with this a little bit. Um, let's say that instead, we want our start color to actually be lighter, like that, and then our regular color to be over here. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. So we want our start color to be brighter than our end color, and that creates this sort of this effect where it's drawing our eyes to the center a little bit because our eyes are naturally drawn towards what is bright. Now, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and either create a new black video or we can just duplicate this video by holding Alt and dragging it up and then just deleting the ramp effect off of it. And we will then go to this. Uh, it's gonna be black for a second, but we will fix that here in a second. We're gonna look for the checkerboard effect. It is currently under the obsolete, but it will be replaced uh, eventually with something better. Right now, we're gonna use that as an effect. We're gonna to go to the width, and we're gonna drop this down to something like a five, give or take. Yeah, that's a good sort of size right there. We're then gonna go down to the opacity. We're gonna drop this way down to something like right around five to 10%. And that is looking pretty good. You see it's a very, very subtle effect, and maybe we actually wanna go up a little bit more. And we can adjust all of these, maybe six on this. And yeah, that's looking like a good effect. Now, what we wanna do is then go up to the motion or the opacity, and we wanna create a filter like this. There are two ways we can do this. We can either have it so the texture is on the center area or the texture is on the outside area. So if we, for example, invert it, you'll see that the texture goes to the outside. I like to do it this way and then give a really big feather on it and even expand out just a little bit. And this way we have the texture around the edges but in the center, it becomes a very clean mat. You can see around the edges, we have that texture come in. And it just, like I said, it makes it feel a little bit more interesting with the texture. And so that is why we add it. Now with that, we have pretty much created what we want to create. And now we can just add our icon in the center, you know, scale it down. Whoops, make sure we scale the icon down a little bit. And we have created something that looks really, really clean and really um, simple. So that is it on this tutorial. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section below on our website, adobemasters.net. If you like to see videos similar to this one, go ahead and subscribe button. Try to make videos on all the Adobe products. And until next time, everyone, see ya.